fast. There we go. There we go. Periscope. What's up? Me and my bay. Do you think I need a shave? Do I think you need a shave? Yeah. You need some of that. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm John Covey. Um, just tell you who I am. Good morning, I'm CK Golding, um, photographer to the stars. Photographer to the stars, I yeah. like it. No, yes. I mean, I mean, I'm into astrology. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, pretty yeah, much. Yeah, yeah, like that's a nice little twist. That you should use that. But no, that's why I'm a stand-up company. So. <laughs> Feel it. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. No, cool guys. <laughs> right, anyway, so I'm John Covey, uh, multi-award-winning business coach, mentor, sales trainer. Um, CK, as he obviously has just said, he's a photographer to the stars. That's featured on TV. Featured on, yeah, yeah, yeah. publicised with Red Bull and yeah, Lucas Aid yeah. and Vicious Hounds and yeah, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, He's yeah. good at what he does. He's really good. Team. Just done an absolutely amazing challenge. But they don't need to know that. But anyway, so it's been good. Google him. Google me, bitch! <laughs> Steady on. Okay. Right, guys. Um, so you know the watershed is nine o'clock in the evening, not the morning. So no, like we're no, not past. The... Not on the JC show. All oh, right. Okay. Do I just know? wanted to make sure that we were aware that totally. language of that nature isn't suitable. If you don't like it, tune out. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Beat it. Cool. Right. So we're on his way to business networking, and what I wanted to really kind of just touch on really is what you can expect from business networking, because there's a lot of people familiar with networking. Are you? What are you doing looking at the phone? Just thinking, I wish I got an iPhone now. Rather than this. No, I'm just I'm just listening intently. <laughs> intently. Yeah, it's a skill you taught me. Good stuff, good stuff. So a lot of people hear about business networking, but they, they they're not hundred percent sure about how they need to go about it, getting getting there, doing it, you know, mixing it up and stuff like that as well. So CK is quite new to this sector, aren't you? Do you know business networking is Absolutely. Such. So I mean what what did you find? I found like anything in life it will be as difficult as you wish it to be in all honesty um the iron, do you know what's ironic about it you kind of know me so people are my thing so i'm fine yeah, like in, yeah. in a room full of strangers but within the context of business networking when there's this undertone of business exchange yeah. service exchange it's kind of that element is new to me so it kind of felt you know uncomfortable not, not well yeah i guess yeah and um yeah and, and, it, and, it, and it was a stretch it's not necessarily something that i'm used to in that context like pete give me a room full of strangers in the entertainment world fine fine but within the context of business exchange and you know ideas to, you know that was that was quite new so. totally and and this <sighs> is the thing i mean what you can expect from when you when you go business networking this is what you usually expect you tend to find a lot of people who already know each other standing in a corner talking to each other and all the newbies that that are quite new to this and they don't fully understand what they should be doing are kind of stood on themselves and it's about engaging with them feet you know? watching yeah yeah it's about engaging pulling people together and, and do you know what, can I just interject? Do you know what I've noticed? That everybody pretty much feels the same way and you'll never once approach someone and they'll be like, what do you want? Everyone's generally, you know, because everybody understands that every, like if you go up and talk to a stranger, they appreciate that in itself is quite a thing. So they'll often just embrace you and they'll start talking. So if you yeah. overcome that, you know, that's so, what I found. I don't know if you agree. No, absolutely. And, and I mean, you've got to go with an agenda. And I think that's the biggest fundamental flaw that people find is that they, they, they rock on down to this networking because they've been advised that they should go there. But they don't really know what to expect. They don't know what it's going to be like. They might get a little bit overwhelmed when they see a room full of 30 plus people, all confident, suited and booted sometimes. Or you can come like CK with his mum's blouse. Um... <laughs> and Paddington Bear's trousers. And, Paddington Bear's trousers. <laughs> <laughs> and, and they just don't know what to fully expect from it. So they feel like really, really overwhelmed by it all. And what you've got to understand is you need to go with an agenda. You've got to go with a rock solid idea of what you're going to say, because otherwise you're going to get up and you're going to be shaking like a shitting dog. Watershed, mate, watershed. Watershed. There ain't no watershed on live broadcast on Periscope. What do you reckon, guys? Leave a comment below. Should I stop cursing? Do you think it's unacceptable for a man of his stature and, and, and standing in the society <laughs> to be using language of this ilk? Ooh, ilk. That's my word. No, it, mate, I clearly, it's every word you know beyond <laughs> one syllable, I taught you. Evergreen. Two syllables, I taught you. <laughs> you taught me. Oh, yeah. it's three syllables. That's where I'm going wrong. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't listen to this guy. Don't listen to this yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah. But no, right, so you've got to go with an agenda. Do you know, go networking with an agenda. Do you know, who do you want to get a connection to? If you're going to go and, for example, you're going to go networking, I really want a connection into anybody at Waitrose in their marketing department. Can anyone hook me up 
with weight rows. This is what I do. I do this, 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 and this. And I really want to get into weight rows. If anybody knows someone there, I'd be massively, massively appreciative of an introduction to them. And that's, talk, that's a powerful route into networking. And talk us through why that's more effective than going cop launch with no real agenda. Well, it's like anything in life. Do you know, success rewards organisation. And so if you go and you're organised with a plan and an agenda, you will find it successful. There's so many people walk away from networking saying it doesn't work, don't work, but they don't go in agenda. That's why they go, they show the face, and they just say, this is what I do. I do this, 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 and this, and this, and my name is X. So it's the same principle, I guess, what you're saying, Johnny, is, is goal setting, isn't it? It's goal setting. Yeah. Have, you, have, you shared it's the, have you shared the analogy of those students, 10 of them set? Precise goals. I've, I've not, no, but I mean, it's not relevant, but... I think it is. Do you know, head over to the Facebook. <laughs> there's a, there's a face, Facebook group that I've set up. If you just search for Awaken Your Force Within Mastermind Group on Facebook, they, there's loads and loads of stuff on there. And do you know, it's it's just people engaging with each other. There's a probably three or four hundred people in there that, that get mixed up with different ideas. You know, they share ideas, they share stuff. And there's there's loads of stuff I put in there, like CK was just saying, then with the the the, uh, the students with the goal setting, which is fantastic. Um, but with with regards to networking, just go with an agenda and don't be afraid to bump into people. Do you know, bump into people and say, hey, my name is. You know, Eminem style. My name is what? Don't just, wear don't don't wear the Batman and Robin suit. And, 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 yeah, I mean, don't have your hair bleached like white blonde, unless you see Kane. It's naturally not cool. <laughs> <laughs> white blonde. Yeah. Mm, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Blonde. Yeah. John thinks orange. <laughs> but but um. But no, totally. I mean, networking is massively powerful. I get probably. I, no, no, for fifty percent of my business comes from networking. Can I ask you something else, Jimmy? You can ask me anything. Um, I'd be interested to get your opinion on where do you stand on the most effective approach? Because you, the, it, with with business networking, inherently it's people talking about themselves. But do you think the more effective route is to talk about someone else? You know, the person you're talking to. Is it best to find out about them as an opener, or is it best to just what what what, what you have to offer? The, well, it, here's the thing. You know, like so many people, so many business networking experts will tell you that what you need to do is you need to go networking for six months and build a relationship with people and then and then see if you can win some business but let's look at psychology as a whole you know you make a decision whether you like someone within three seconds mm -hmm. so why not ask them after three seconds for the business okay do you know they know what they, what you do you're sitting down and having a one-to-one -one with them so they know exactly what it is that you do mm -hmm. they're sitting down with you not because they they, they, they like your trousers you know there's there's something that you've said that they like mm -hmm. so why spend six months building a relationship with people just say listen right okay cool how can i help you okay so what, what is it you need okay you, you, you've seen I do photos and stuff like that. What is it you need? Is it headshots? Is it group shots? What, 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 what is it you need and when do you want me to come? Mm -hmm. Now tell me a bit more about your business. I mean, you've got to show interest in them because it's like, how can I help you? you know, it's not about me just taking, but ultimately I'm coming there to get business. You know, I think that's the thing is that we, we, we sold on this idea that you've got to be nice and fluffy and you've got to build these relationships. Absolutely, we want to build relationships. But listen, at the end of the day, we're here because we want business. Okay. So if you're sitting down and you're having a one-to-one -one with me, there's something I've told you that you like. So what is it that you want? And then tell me more about your business and I'll tell you if I can help you. Do you know what? I can hook you up with this, this guy or this woman or this person or this company. But ultimately, I need to get some business. I need some cake. Who's got my money? <laughs> my favourite, Johnnyism. <laughs> Who's got my money? Should we say it loud, like Johnny McGuire? <laughs> After three, three. Let's do it. Well, two windows down. Two windows down. <laughs> two windows down. <laughs> two, three, two, two one. Oh, Who's got, got my money? money? <laughs> Show me the money. <laughs> Show me the money, Jay. Have you got it, pal? <laughs> Bus driver. He's got my money. <laughs> uh, um, but no, it's true. You, you, you go in networking for a reason. You know, you go in to get business. And yet, if you can build a relationship off the back of it, wonderful. But ultimately, don't forget that you're there to get business because I've seen so many really promising and good groups that's just turned into a social gathering. Listen, I'm not coming networking at silly o'clock in the morning just to just to have a laugh and a joke. I'm coming because I want to get some business out of it and I want to share and I want to help people. So if I can help you, <clears throat> tell me what you want. And I'd expect that same thing to me. Now I'm sat down having a one-to-one -one someone. I'd expect someone to say to me, John, what, what can I do for you? And then give, basically giving you the option to say some, this or nothing. Yeah, exactly. But if, they, if it's the same scenario. John. If you never ask, if you never ask, the answer's always no. Mm -hmm. Always, always no. So, do you know, tell me what you need I'll tell you whether it's something I want or if I know anybody that you can really, I can hook you up with. Okay. 
and and if we happen to build a great relationship in this process of time, fantastic. Let's go out and have a beer and, and whatever. Let's go to some strip places. What if they don't actually perceive the need, but they do need it anyway? Do you know what I mean? So, for example, I've done, as you know, without wishing to brag, I've, <laughs> I, I, you know, I've done some, I've done some good commercial stuff in my time. As far yeah. as headshots are concerned. So, yeah. so for example, if but it's one of those things that isn't necessarily at the forefront of someone's mind when they go to network, for example. But they need it, but they just didn't know that they needed it. So, how do you extract that need from them, or at least prepare them? Or, or, you know, I think I think I was reading that book you shared with me, Johnny Blink. Blink. You yeah, know, when you yeah, prime yeah. them, what can you do to prime them to actually make them realise? Well, actually, technically, you do. <laughs> you, you, you definitely do. Right? Any, any thoughts on that? I don't quite understand the question. To me. <laughs> is it me just? Fl- <laughs> it's just, it's just well, me again. Do you mean your services or anyone's yeah, yeah, yeah. services? Well, yeah, mine or anybody's because because you know if I'm if I'm in, if I'm oh then again you're talking one to one where they've actually chosen to talk yeah. to each other so they can't in that in, in that circumstance and they know when they know what they need. So but that's, but that's at the end of the day, listen, right? We've all we've all got a purpose for going networking. Yeah. So we've gone because we want to get some business. Now that could be for your own company. or It might be that you're an employee of somebody else's company. But ultimately, you've gone to get some business. Yeah. So ask them for the business. Do you know, I, I sell software, for example, let's say that. So I'm going to sit down with you. I sell um, the, the, the UK's hottest uh, accountancy software. Yeah. So I'm going to sit down with you, and I know you need accounts. It's a, it's a given. Do you know, the services that I'm providing you, you need it. You've yeah. got to have it. At some stage, you're going to need to make sure that your books are in order. Yeah. So I'm going to ask you, listen, what's your problems? What do you find is a problem at the minute with your accountancy? You know what? What's the issues that you've got? Is it the paperwork? Is it the time? Is it this? Is it the flexibility? Is it the fact that you've got to do paper-based stuff? I'm going to find out straight away. Do you know what? What is it? Mm-hmm. What is it? And then don't pitch them a product or a service. Pitch them the solution. The solution. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Pitch them the solution to it straight away. Can't get out from this road actually, can I? Do you need a solution? I need a solution. <laughs> I need an exit. I need like a matrix at the moment. Give me an exit. Come on, tank. Sorry, man, I don't drive. No, and and so that's the stuff, do you know. But it, it's easy for you to just go along, build a relationship, and and not get anything in return. But what you need to do is you need to give as well. And and I'm talking a lot about selling there, do you know. Straight away, people make that decision. Three minutes of meeting you, they made a decision. We know that, yeah. Yeah. So three then, seconds. They, for so, so, what, that's a minute then. You yeah. Sorry, three seconds. Yeah. So that you know whether they're going to like you or not, whether they're going to buy from you within three seconds. Why spend six months building a relationship what you can close in, th- in three minutes? And this is the problem that everybody faces is that they spend way too much time trying to get a sale in. You know, they're scared that if I push it too hard, people's gonna fall out, they, they, they're not gonna like me, they're gonna think I'm pushy. Who cares, do you know? It's not about that. It's about you've got a service and a product that they need that is fantastic. The only, re- listen, Mike, the only reason you're not gonna push that product is if you don't 100% believe in it yourself. Mm. If you 100% believe in your product, you're going to ram it down their throat because it's good for them. Mm-hmm. You no, know, this is a service, this is a product that they want, they need, they know they need it, and it's really, really good for them. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to push you. I'm going to push you to make a decision on this. And, and, and you've got to be the same way. But ultimately, what I'm saying here is that don't forget that you need to give back. You know, if there's a printer in the room, don't go to Vistaprint and go and order some business cards and flyers. Give it back. Give it to the group. Give it to the people in the group. Give your business back there. If they ask for somebody who's a connection, give them a connection. You know, try and go out of your way a little bit to give them a connection. That's how you build a relationship. The relationship is not about you liking each other, going out and having dining, uh, having food and stuff and a few beers. That's friendship. That's not a relationship. Your relationship is I'm going to help you succeed in your business as much as I'm going to succeed in mine. I'm going to give more than I actually get, but ultimately I'm coming to get. So let's roll. So, yeah, that's your business networking. What you need to do is you need to go, you need to expect that you're gonna have to break some comfort zones. So you're gonna have to expect that you're gonna have to get in the group and you're gonna have to muscle yourself into people. You know, there's gonna be people what's been there before, what's what's got a relationship already, who's stood in the corner and they're talking to each other and you need to like, listen, just, just bump yourself into them and just say, hey guys, I'm John. Multi award winning coach. Yeah, what, what, do you, what, what do you guys do? What do you, what do you, what do, you do? I'm John, yeah. And, and I mean, I wouldn't jump in straight away and say, I'm John, I'm a coach. I'd can, jump in and I'd say, hi guys, I'm John, what, what do you guys do? Can I just, like, what I'd like to do at this point is, because um, it's, it's actually quite liberating if you just try it. But if you try it, I mean, Johnny does it all the time now, he almost lives and breathes it. But if you try it um, incrementally, so, you know, spend an hour 
every day not caring what people think about you then slowly grow it up because we're actually it's actually quite it's actually quite liberating I'm, I'm, you know I'm not at Johnny's level yet but in the times I've tried it it's quite it's liberating isn't it, it, it you don't care it's because there's just less worry less anxiety you're not worrying about what people think and because of that you're less stressed you're yeah. more relaxed totally. and it just feels you can be yourself pretty much and it, and, and it honestly because Wor- ironically worrying about what people think isn't necessarily healthy because it's just nah. it's just a cause for anxiety and stress and so basically what I'm saying is Johnny talk people through when you got to that point when you just didn't care I remember we were sat in your office and you just said I don't care you, yeah you, do you know and, and it, it's, it's something that everyone struggles with do you know people have this fear of what people's going to say to them do you know if they, if they expose themselves too much they get really kind of scared of what happens if they don't like me you know, what if they say no? What if they say no? They reject me. Yeah, reject me and stuff like that as well. Or what? What? Even worse. What happens if they criticise me? What if they think that I'm wrong? Do you know what if they, they start hating me? Yeah, I'm not good enough. Yeah, enough. So we have all this doubt circulating around us all the time, and it's like anything. Do you know when we get that frequency right and we start getting that attention to us, we naturally will find people criticise us because criticism is a fantastic thing to allow you to grow. And what most people do is the minute they get criticism, they start to back up and retreat away from it all. They, don't, I mean, they start hiding and stop doing all the stuff that got them the attention to start with. So they start hiding and, and it's not good for you. It's not good at all. And that's just going to put you back into that self-doubting cycle where you begin to doubt that you are actually good enough or maybe people are going to say no to me more often. And, and it's a matter of you just challenging them fears. And that the only way that you're going to grow is by challenging them fears. If you don't challenge the fear, you'll stay exactly the same place as you've always been. So you've got to challenge them fears. And it's tough to do, but you've got to do it. And once you've done it the first time, it gets a little bit easier the second time. Once you've done it the second time, the third time becomes easier. I think I think what Johnny's saying about the first, second and third time, it's about be- becoming a, making it a habit. And, yeah. And... and that doesn't happen overnight. There is there there, there is a cycle to a something cycle to becoming it. a habit. Yeah, it takes twenty one days to create a habit. It takes twenty one days consecutive though. You can't cheat and skip. You've got to do it consistently. And at the end of the day, the only way you're going to get great at something is by being consistent at it anyway. So you've got to be consistently doing these things to get great at it. Um, and it's it's fearful, but it, it means that you grow. Listen, look, think back. If you drive a car, think back to the very first time that you ever got in a car. You, know, you had to press a pedal down. You had to. Tss- move this gear stick thing you had to look at all the different mirrors in it you had to then steer and change the gears it were actual it were petrifying but now you jump in a car we are even thinking about it and you can drive anywhere in the world drive anywhere in the world the first time that i ever drove on the wrong side of the road is scary do you know i, I, I in spain they drove on the other side of the road that i'm used to we're here in the uk and it's just it's just scary at first, but then once you've done it for an hour or so, it becomes more comfortable and you become more confident at it. And that is exactly the same as this. Just get the confidence levels up, just keep on going, keep on pushing, keep on driving forward. But you must, must, must make sure that you go with an agenda. The very last thing, the very last thing on networking, and this is the probably the pinch of the deal. Now, this is what makes the biggest, biggest impact is that what you do after networking. Now, most people, they'll meet a contact, they'll exchange the cards, they'll have a one-to-one, they'll do all this stuff with each other, and then they leave it. They'll let them drift away, and they might not see them then for another two weeks allow, or a month. Allowing them to give someone else their money. And then, they, yeah, they, totally, they're allowing someone else to go and collect oh, the cake that? off them. Someone else has gone on there to go and collect it. No. So, so the most important thing that you need to do is follow up with them. So, literally follow up, and if it's early enough in the day, follow them up the same day. So if you're networking at, at 7 in the morning, 6.30 in the morning, or even half 9, something along them kind of lines, by 2 o'clock, you need to be phoning them up. You know, we met this, excuse me, we met this morning, fantastic to meet up here, let's grab a coffee. Let's find out how we can really help each other. Let's grab a coffee. And then go and lock that business in. But equally, introduce them as well. And you said that was a final point, but I've got a sub-branch off that, which I'll, because I know... And this is, John, Johnny always says things that make me look at things differently. And I know there's a chance, there's a high proportion of people who's listened to what you just said about following up two hours later and there's going to be everyone shouting at the screen, that's desperate! Yeah. But Johnny has a counter to that desperate. Yeah, we are desperate. We I desperate. am desperate. We are all desperate. We are this desperate. Is this is like, of course, yeah, of course I am desperate. desperate. Get, out, get out of that mindset that you're desperate because you are, guess what you are? But get out of that mindset that you're not desperate. That you're not desperate. Yeah, sorry, yeah. Because you are desperate. Do you know, you could have you could have 20 million set in your bank account, but you're still desperate. You're still desperate. <laughs> For another 20 mil. Because you want more. 
we always, we, our natural instinct is to grow. So but we want more, we want to run faster, jump further, reach higher. We want more, it's his natural instinct to grow. So we want more. Now if you have to be desperate, be desperate. Do you know, just do whatever it takes. That's my little mantra is, is what I call wit. Is whatever it takes, using your wit, whatever it takes. Do you know, I was doing one of these videos yesterday and I got pulled up by the police. Now, the police were in the right and I was in the wrong. Or I saw it as I was in the right and they were in the wrong. But I could have sat there for 10 minutes arguing with them. I didn't. I begged them. I'm sorry, officer. I'm sorry. I didn't realise. I apologise. I didn't. I didn't beg like that. I just said, listen, I'm sorry. I, I didn't realise. I apologise. And he was fine. Do you know what? Okay. Get on your way. Now, what I could have done, I could have stood there for 10 minutes arguing with him saying, well, I think you're wrong. And he said, no, I don't think you're wrong. I'm the law. I am. The, I'm Judge Dredd. Do you know just, just do whatever it takes, Joe. Whatever it takes. And if people think they're desperate, who cares? Do you know what? They're paying for your Ferrari. Are they buying your house? Are they paying your mortgage? Are they paying your rent on your apartments? Just do whatever it takes. This is the biggest difference. You're going networking because you want business. So follow them up and keep on following them up. I'm not sure what this joke is doing. Oh, it's because there's a... Is this going on? So on that bombshell, we've got a big fire engine behind us. So we're going to say ciao for now. I hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, if you want to find out more about me, you can check me out on Twitter. I mean, for the record, it's not a big fire engine. It's a standard-sized fire engine. I didn't want you thinking that was like a double-decker fire engine. Kind of. It depends on where you were. I mean, like, <laughs> if you live in Balamori, it might be smaller. Than that. <laughs> you never know. But guys, listen. If you want to follow me, check me out on Twitter. It's it's. Uh, at John without the H, it's J O N underscore Cove, um, and CK is on Twitter also at CK Golden, uh, which is a double I in the Golden. Um, you can obviously look at, look at, look me up on my website. Google me, bitch. Uh, <laughs> just find me on Google. He's, he's got a problem with, with language, CK. Uh, JohnCovey.com. And I hope you've enjoyed this, guys. So get networking, get some business in. It's been a pleasure. Thank you for your time. Have a wonderful day. Be desperate. Be desperate. Be desperate, John Spartan. Awesome. Uh, we're going to try and stop it, but I'm driving at the same time here, so let's...